everybody, we are the Smith family. My name is Helen and I'm the Children's and Schools Minister at St Peter's. I'm Nicola, Abbott, and I live in Abbey. Her name's Abigail and her short name is Abby. And we are getting ready for Christmas. We're dressed in super cool stuff and we are getting excited for Christmas. And my favourite Bible verse, which I'm going to share with you today, is Psalm... Can you remember what it is, Abigail? That's right, it's from Psalm 107, verse 1, and Samuel is going to come and read it to us. He's going to read it off screen. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. I just really love this Bible verse, especially at this time of year. That give thanks to the Lord, for his love endures forever. Not just give thanks because it's a good thing to do. You know, we're always told to be polite, to, to say thank you to somebody if they give us presents. But give thanks to God because his love endures forever. Not just because God is good to us and God is a nice person, but because of God's love, give thanks. And we have so much to give thanks for, don't we? So um, Samuel is going to explain a little activity that you can do as part of our Farm Shines project um, to help you give thanks to God today. First, get your piece of card and draw a star on the back. Then, once you've drawn your star, you need to cut it out. On the back, you're going to write with your pen all of the things you're thankful for. So, I'm thankful for school and all my friends and grandparents so and abby's going to tell you what she's thankful for so i'm thankful for christmas um because we get loads of presents Me and too. loads of lights because it's really fun doing all of the presents and lights I think that's a really good one. I think I'm going to put that on my one. Mm. I'm just going to write that So, um, that's mine now. Um, the one that I've written. Oh, it's. Mm, it's Great. Christmas. And then, so like, that's what I'm thankful for. Next, so, bye for now. <laughs> and what we're going to do with our stars when we've written what we're thankful for? Put them in the window. So we hope you enjoy reflecting on that Bible verse today and doing that star challenge.